You're vegan? But where do you get your protein? Hey guys, Mish here, and today I wanted to talk about protein. Because I, like many of you, am sick of being asked where I get my protein as a vegan. So a little while ago, I compiled a list of 14 of the best vegan and non-vegan sources of protein. And I just compared them side by side, and the results were actually a little bit shocking for me, because I thought that I was going to show that vegan protein was at least as good as meat. But in fact, I found that calorie per calorie, vegan protein is better. So before I go into all the comparisons, I wanted to talk about a problem that I see when people are discussing protein. Because I've noticed that people tend to talk about it in grams, which in terms of diet purposes is completely irrelevant. Unless you're trying to eat very little. Like, if your goal is to eat as little volume of food as possible, then sure, animal products are better. But here's why calories matter. When you're on a diet, you usually plan your protein in terms of calories, or grams as a percent of your total calories. And this is for any kind of diet, whether you're bulking or maintaining or trying to lose weight. What matters is how much protein is in your diet as a percent of your total calories. And so when you're trying to choose foods to fulfill this, you want foods that are more purely protein in general, because that way you can get the most protein per calorie without screwing up your other macros as much, or having to eat less. So vegan sources were almost unanimously higher in protein per calorie than meat sources, or animal product sources, and this is because in animal products the protein is invariably packaged with fat, whereas in plants you can get almost pure protein, or protein with carbs, which is lower calorie than fat. So now for the comparisons, which are all the grams of protein per 100 calories of the food. So the first comparison is protein powder, which is the best source of protein per calorie in both the vegan version and the animal product version. All the whey or casein protein powder, which comes from dairy, is only 20 grams of protein. Soy protein powder is 25. Next is non-fat yogurt has 17 grams of protein per calorie and seitan has 20 grams of protein, tuna has 15 grams, and nutritional yeast has 18 grams. Granted, you need a pretty big serving of nutritional yeast to get 18 grams, but still, I could eat a lot of nutritional yeast. Steak, known as a very high protein food, only has 14 grams of protein per calorie, which is the same amount as spinach. While chicken has 11 grams of protein, tofu also has 11 grams of protein. Cottage cheese has 11 grams, and so does asparagus. Lean beef, which is beef with less fat, has 10 grams of protein, and so does soy milk. While salmon has 9 grams of protein, tempeh has 10. Eggs have 7.5 grams of protein, whereas broccoli has 9.5. Bacon, which is oft touted as a great source of protein, only has 7 grams, whereas beans and lentils have 9 grams. 2% milk has 6.5 grams of protein, and peas have 7 grams of protein. Cheese has 5.5 grams, and hemp seeds have 6.5. A burger with two patties in it has 5.5 grams of protein, whereas green beans have 6.5, and, and are much less likely to kill you. A sausage has 3.5 grams of protein, whereas a vegan sausage has 11 grams. And those are some examples of top sources of protein for each category of plants versus animals, and in every category, plants either tie or win, with winning being the most common. Not to mention, the plant sources are way healthier for you, are packed with fiber, are cheaper, you can eat a whole lot more volume. So for example, the 14 grams of protein in spinach was from two cups of cooked spinach, which is one of the higher volumes of foods listed here. But the point is, you can eat a ton more food to get the same amount of protein, and therefore you'll be more satiated. Not to mention all the micronutrients you'll be getting from eating all the plants and all the fiber, which is good for your digestion and keeping you full and keeping you from getting cancer in your intestines. So thanks so much for watching and please like or subscribe for more videos.